What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Cantero with InspiredDigital.com, where I drop daily videos on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know what type of business you're building online, and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. You guys, this is a big deal right here. This is a big, big deal. I stayed up late late last night making sure that my automations were in place, making sure that people, whenever they buy something, they go to the right list. Whenever they buy something, they're unsubscribed from a specific list. Whenever they opt into a form, they're on a list. Whenever they opt into a form, they're in an email sequence, which is your email autoresponder. All these little things, you guys, are how you track everything. Like you have to have people on the right list. Like if people are buying a specific product, make sure they're not on an old list that they shouldn't be on, any, on anymore. Make sure that you have them shifting and have, and have these leads um, flowing to the right, I don't know if the words correspond, no, it's not correspondence, but if to the right freaking category, you know? So I just think this part is overlooked. I, I, I truly believe a lot of people probably don't even think about this side of it all. And in this part right here is by far the most important, like super, super important. So for automations, I don't know. I know for sure. I don't know about, I mean, I'm pretty sure most landing page software don't have automations like this. Like I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure email autoresponders have this type of, actually, I don't even know if email autoresponders, that's why, man, a lot of you guys are still messing around with multiple services. It's like, shit, dude, how do you guys do it? I don't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't have ClickFunnels and then freaking MailChimp and then some other freaking Teachable to host my membership course. Like, I could not juggle all these services. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Um, but Kartra, I use for everything. I use for my, I use for everything, man. And, and, and definitely I use it for my, for my automations. So I want to kind of just walk you through what automations are, how I use them and how you guys need to start using them. If you're building any type of business online, if you're capturing any kind of leads online, you need optim, you need automations. Okay. So here's what goes on. Like when, when a, when a, when an actual prospect or lead yeah lead subscribes to this list okay when they subscribe to this list simple landing page nothing to it it's just one that that clients don't even see actually to tell you the truth let me go to it this is when i'm onboarding this is when i'm onboarding my social media clients okay in fact they don't even see it i come to this page i opt them in i put their name i put their email like I do all this stuff right here. So it's just one single page, nothing to it. But the way I have this set up is it's set up on Kartra, this landing page, this form. So whoever fills out this form, right, they go on a very specific list. And I also unsubscribe them from a list as well. So not, not only do they go onto a list, but I'm also making sure and I'm automating it. That's why it's an automation. I'm also making sure that not only are they going to go on a list, they're going to go lead subscribes to list. This is the list that they're subscribe, subscribing to, and they're subscribing to that list through this landing page. But not only are they going to be subscribed to the list, but they're automatically going to be unsubscribed from this list over here. Okay. When someone buys my, my course, like I have, I have a few different courses when someone buys my course, they're assigned this tag, right? So I can categorize everyone. I can pull up all the different tags. I can see who is in this specific training course. When a, when a lead is assigned this tag, then I automatically unsubscribe them from this list. Book customers who didn't buy course. So they're automatically unsubscribed from that list once they, that, that, that tag is applied. Customer buys this full access four day cash at any price, okay? The SCI full access, they buy this membership course at any price, then I automatically unsubscribe them from registered for like ad web class. So these types of automations, you guys, if I did not have that set up, what would I, what would I have to do, manually do that? 
or what would I, what would I have to do? Leave them on this list, which I don't want them on that list. Cause what if I want to email that, that list sometime in the future? And I want to, I want to send them a promotion to buy this course. Then I'm going to have a bunch of people that already bought it still on that list. Right? So I don't want that. I want to, I want to make sure that that's a clean list of people that need to be on that list. Um, and then just more and more lead fills out form. <clears throat> so they fill out this form, bam, they fill out this form and then automatically they're subscribed to that list. Okay. And if they also fill out this form, then I unsubscribe them from this list. Okay. Customer buys product, free book, like ad training at any price. Then I subscribe them to this list and I assign this tag. All right, free book, op free book offer like ad students. They're tagged with that. If they register, lead subscribes to a list. So they subscribed to registered for like ad web class, but didn't buy. I'm gonna unsubscribe them from the four day cash machine, which is my email series, right? So if they're subscribed to this list, registered for like ad web class, but didn't buy, okay, then I'm taking them off of this list. So these types of things, you guys, are super, super important, super important. And I don't, I don't even care if you don't have a full, you know, huge business, you know, freaking running right now. It doesn't even matter. This little basics, the, this is the, the basic fundamentals of building an online business. You have to be able to categorize your email list, your email sequences, who's buying your product, who's not buying your product. Because at the end of the day, all of this is really to, to make sure that people are, are on the correct list. That's the bottom line. At the end of the day, I want to email a list. And if I email a list, a certain promotion or a certain offer or a certain discount, and there's people on that list that should not be there, that's a big deal. That's a big, big deal, you guys. So before you have millions of people on an email list, make sure you have your automations down. Okay, I have so many automations. If this happens, then assign that tag. If that happens, subscribe them to that list, right? So, and it's not just by if, if this happens. If a person fills out, you know, freaking a form, it's not just that. It's, if, if it's, it's also if a person buys, it's also if a person doesn't open up an email, it's also if a person opens up an email. So there's so many ways you can think of, so many different ways you can get creative. Lead fills out form, lead fills form. They fill out the free book, they're subscribed to that list, they're assigned that tag. Let me see if I can find a different one. Um, actually, that's pretty much all of them. That's all my, all my, and then also what you can do also is tag people who watched X amount of a video. So for example, if you have a video, that's why I, that's why a lot of the times I don't send traffic to my YouTube channel, to my YouTube video. Sometimes I will. Like if I just released a new video, a new YouTube video, and I actually want to build my YouTube channel, which is what I, what I'm doing with you guys, which is what I want to do is build a YouTube channel. Then I'll send out emails sometimes and, um, and, and it'll have my, it'll have a link to my YouTube video, right? That's one strategy. That's one way you can start getting your YouTube channel, your, your videos viewed even more by emailing sending that link, that link to your email list and getting people. And even if those people are subscribed to your channel, it doesn't matter. Email them, you know, send them an email. If they opted into any of your forms, send them an email. Say, Hey guys, just want to let you know, I dropped a new video on YouTube. Check it out by clicking here. You know, so if you're on any of my lists, you get, you get random emails like that from me um, that are all automated, right? Um, sending you to my YouTube channel. But if I'm not sending you to my YouTube channel, there's tons of videos that I have you guys that I don't send that I don't post on my YouTube channel. I have videos for my, <clears throat> for my social media agency, for my niche, right? I'm building a social media agency during the day and I have hundreds of clients and I have hundreds of people on my email list. And whenever I send them a video, it's not to my YouTube channel. Whenever I send them a video, it's to, it's to a landing page. Like for example, I have an email series that sends out a handful of emails that when they click on it, when they click on the hyperlink inside of the email, it takes them to this one page where I'm tracking them with my Facebook pixel. 
So I'm tracking every single person that has landed here, right? I'm tracking all of them. And then it's a video getting them to do something. It's one page, one simple page. So this is a, a web page that you won't find online. I, I hide it from the search engines. So it's not like you can Google search it, right? It's an email. It's a, it's a page that goes out with my email. One single page, one single page giving value, giving value on a book that I wrote actually. So that's what this one's for. But the whole purpose, my whole point of telling you this is that this video is social media strategy. Okay. So I got a call coming up, you guys, um, closing that social media client at nine. Okay. So this video, let's say, let's say this video is, this video is 21, 21 minutes long. 21 minutes long. I can also set up an automation. I could tag the people who watched 25 minutes of it. It's a 27 minute video. I could tag people who watched 25. In fact, let me show you. Gosh, you guys, if you're not on Karcher, I don't know what the hell to tell you guys. Link is in the description. Profit with Kartra online. Look, step two. Okay, it's this video right here. So a lot of my videos that I have on my landing pages, I actually put, I host on Kartra. So I don't host it on YouTube. Um, I do host a ton of my membership videos on Vimeo, but videos that I have on random landing pages, okay, I host on Kartra. So this video right here, step two, look at this. If I come in here and edit, click on edit, I can assign a tag. I could tag people who watched X amount of that video. Okay, so watch this. Tag leads. Okay, so new tag. When lead visits the, the video page, at a time through the video, when lead triggers a call to action. So let's go at a time through the video. Look at this, man. I could tag people who watch 25 minutes of it. Okay, category, let's go with, um, I think I need to create a category first, but let's, let's just for the perp the sake of this video, an example, let me go with, um, I'll go with, I'll put it in the category of, actually I'll put no category right now because I'm going to create a new tag. I'm going to create a new category and I'll create a new tag. So this one's going to be, um, watched 25 minutes. Tag description, watched 25 minutes of step two. Okay, so category, let's create a new category. Let's actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this in, I take that back. I'm gonna put this in, actually that, no, I'll create a new tag. So I can create a new category create a new category, and this is gonna be the, the category for my tags. This one's gonna be um, watched videos, watched video. Let's just put it that, like that for now. Okay, so watched video. Watch 25 minutes, watch 25 minutes of step one, new category name, create. Okay, so watch this, watch this. Now I'm going to add it. So I'm going to add and then I'm going to save. Okay. So watch this. So that's there now, right? So I publish video. I publish video. Now what I can do is I can go back to my automations. So I'm going to click on my communications. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to click on communications up here at the top. And then I'm going to go to automations. So that tag. Okay. So let's, let's say if, if lead is assigned tag. Okay. If they're assigned tag watched video, that's the category. If they're assigned this tag, let's add. Then what I can do is I can either subscribe to a list. I can unsubscribe to a list. I can assign another tag. I can unassign a tag. 
I could subscribe to a sequence, which is my email autoresponder. I can unsubscribe from a sequence. I can give points, subtract points, grant access to a membership, revoke access, subscribe to a, to a calendar, subscribe lead to calendar, cancel subscription from calendar, refund order, cancel subscription. Those are all the different options I have, you guys. Is that absolutely insane? So let's say, for example, we want to subscribe to a sequence. So let's say I set up a whole new email sequence, which is your email autoresponder. So if I go into communications, I can create a whole new sequence. And I can create a sequence of everyone who is actually watching my videos. Because, because the reality is, when I send people here to this page, I'm sending them to this page through an email. First of all, not all of them are opening the email. And second of all, not all of them are watching 21 minutes. Oh, damn, I, I, I did the tech for 25 minutes. Oh, shit. Let's go back. So the video is 21 minutes. I put watch 25 minutes. Whatever. You guys get the idea. Okay, I'll change it later. You guys get the idea. I'm doing this for the freaking example. But let's say, for example, they watch 20 minutes of it, okay? And then I send them another email tomorrow because step, this is step two. I, I, have, I have five steps that go out. So once someone buys my book, they get step one, step two, step three via email, right? And then I'm, I'm just kind of walking them through what's in the damn book in my video, right? But the automations is so powerful because it allows me to track who's actually watching it. I can assign them a tag if they watch 20 minutes of it. I can assign them a tag. And once they're assigned that tag, I can automatically subscribe them to a list, to an email list, or I can automatically subscribe them to an email sequence, which is my email autoresponder. How powerful would that be? Now I'm sending emails to people that are actually watching my shit. Is that powerful? Before that, I wouldn't even know who the hell watched my video, right? I can tell, I could track who opened the email for sure. I could track those analytics. I could track who opened the email but I want to be able to track who watched the damn video. And you can't do that if you send me to your YouTube channel. You can't do that if you send me to your YouTube channel. Um, and then you can't do that unless you have some type of automation set up tracking people watching the damn video. That's a powerful list to have. That's powerful information to know who's watching it, right? Um, because those are your mo most engaged, you know, freaking followers. And, and so you want to be able to, Category, and that's why, man, uh, light bulbs are just going off for me right now, you guys. I'm doing this shit in real time for you guys. Light bulbs are going off. I need to be tagging every single person who watches the majority of the video and put them all on a separate list and babying that list and catering to, to that list because that's my freaking power. That's my freaking, that's my tribe. They're watching my shit, right? I want to send them special bonuses and gifts and, 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 and go all out for them. You know, because of the few hundred people that I have on that on this specific list, again, man, I don't know who's watching it. I don't know who's watching the video, right? So now I could track it. I could track it through tags. I can I could track it through automations. So if they're assigned that tag, then I can I can subscribe them to a sequence. I would set up a whole new sequence. I could go with any one of them. Let's go with. Let's just go with. Let's just go, I'll just put this for now, just for now, just for you guys to get the example. And I start them from step one. I hit add, I hit save, and here's the automation right here, okay? So anyone who is assigned this tag, watched 25 minutes, they're subscribed to that sequence. That's an automation, you guys. That is freaking powerful all right and if i want to if i want to delete it i just cl click on remove if i want to clone it which is duplicate it i can do that if i want to add another step to it i can simply come right here i can clear i can i can come right here and add a whole nother one if i want to add that one but i could just create separate ones no big deal but and then i can i could pause it if i want to pause it i could pause it as well so what i want to do is i want to simply Delete this one, because I'm going to create a whole new one. Go to the tag. Let's go to the leads, click on tags. And then that tag, I got to change it to 25. 
So watched 20 minutes. Let's go to 20 minutes. Let's go, let's go 20 minutes. Watch 20 minutes. Okay, so let's, let's change that. So now we got 20 minutes and then we got to go back to the video. Let's click on my videos. And let's go back to step two. And let's change that 25 minute mark to 20. So right when that person reaches 20 minutes watched, they're tagged. They're put into a whole new email list or a whole new email sequence. That's powerful, you guys. That is powerful. So I'm gonna simply come in here, I'm gonna X out that, and I'm gonna put 20. Those who watch 20 minutes, watched video, watch 20 minutes. Add, save, publish video. And that's it, you guys. That is it, man. That is it. You guys, step up your game. Set up your 14 day, 14 day trial, compare it to what you're currently using, your click funnels, your lead pages, your Kajabi, your Wajabi, your Alamanazi, whatever the hell you're using, man. MailChimp, freaking get response, your freaking schedule once, your Calendly. Stop it with all these freaking services that you guys are having to juggle and pay multiple service fees for, man. Quit it with all that. Compare it to Kartra. Everything you could possibly need is in one. Kartra, Profit with Kartra online. You'll see the link in the description. Step up your game, set up your automations, and make freaking money. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.